CS20. I got this sometime mid August. Um, and uh, I did a few modifications to it. This is the 12,000 watt model. It comes with a 72 volt, 41.6 amp hour Samsung battery. I uh, changed the front light on it. I added the mirrors, um, that little serum plastic on the front. And uh, it's got a Subbaton 150 on it, 150, 150 amps. Uh, it's got the QS273 5T. And I got the 5T because I'm, uh, I got it because of off-roading. Uh, I don't drive it on the streets as often, but uh, ever since I got it, I find myself actually going around town more often. It's pretty enjoyable. So um, let's, uh, let's go for a ride. Okay. Let's go. So let's see, buying this bike, what to expect. <laughs> uh, double check all the screws, <laughs> make sure everything is uh, tied down and uh, use some of that Loctite because things tend to get loose. Um, bike had uh, an issue when it arrived the ring swing arm, rear swing arm was loose and uh, it kind of disappointed me on the first ride but after that the uh, ride was smoother better the aggressive off-road tires that this bike high order came with uh, the shoes were pretty soft and they were causing the rear end to be rubber banding bang uh, now that I've uh, worn them down a little bit with riding, it feels much better. So, few issues. Let's slow it down a little bit. So we have it on setting one, no throttle. <clears throat> Let's set it in. It's supposed to do eight. We're already 11, 15, but it's 22 almost. And now it's kicked in. I can feel it slowing down. It does engine braking. Now, if I throttle it again, which kind of like has a lag because it has the uh, pedal assist on. So if I throttle it after the pedal assist has set in, there's a throttle lag. Now, using throttle again, let's go back to pedaling. Look at it again. It has to reset once again. So keep that in mind. What to expect from CS20? I'm just pointing out a few of the issues. Uh, Let's see, the back brake, the line, it has a tiny, tiny amount of a leak on the line as it connects to the um, caliper. The manufacturer is sending me a new one free. Uh, I did order another bike, so they're kicking me down with a replacement. And what I mean by that is they're sending me the new brake lever, the line, and the caliper too. So at no charge. Additionally, I broke the kickstand my fault I lean all the weight on the bike to lift off the back wheel and uh, it broke the sleeve that's at the end of the kickstand so this is the 5t model QS again QS 273 uh, so when it arrived I noticed that the T 5t is imprinted over here it's a very heavy heavy motor on the back so <clears throat> so far almost 500 miles battery life is pretty decent uh i've gone 25 miles and the first block didn't drop uh, once the first block goes then the rest of it uh, drops faster so it does 48 top speed so um, I didn't buy it for top speed, I bought it for torque, 
it's very, very dorky. And he reaches, uh, you know, 30 miles pretty quick, but that's when he kind of gets gassed out. So. It's got the four, uh, four piston brakes, quad piston. They're pretty good. They stop the bike pretty decently. I have no complaints on the brakes. Now this bike shines on torque, it shows a lot of torque. It doesn't have good top speed. some abuse uh, I've fallen down a couple times handlebars kind of got off place I just had to uh, push them back in place and then uh, the brake out uh, the brake levers bent uh, thankfully it didn't break it just bent so other than that the bike rides nothing like a an enduro if that's what you're thinking uh, because of the off balance, the way it is, like the weight on the back, uh, it definitely handles way differently than a motorcycle or dirt bike. But that 5T, man, I love that shit. off this area that guy smoked me dirt cloud A lot of bumps. It's pretty nice. Top hills and all. Uh, it's got a smaller turning radius than a Suron, but I have no complaints. It's still pretty good. Now, uh, I can't speak for durability on this bike. And then uh, also, I noticed that the speedometer, it's uh, sometimes I'll be driving and I'll be stopped and it still reads. I don't know, but uh, I can't complain, man. I paid only $3,500 for this thing delivered to my front door. So I found another local shop in Los Angeles and for the same bike, it was uh, 
like 5200 the same setup as i have it now with the fenders 12,000 watt motor 41.6 samson battery and uh yeah it was uh 5200 i've only paid 35 yeah i had to i had to wait uh, a few months <laughs> so and uh i was getting anxious too I was like, where the hell is that bike so but uh yeah let's go up this hill here The sunlight is on my face, I can't see. There you go. So, uh, it's just like you notice the front wheel come up, and uh, a few issues I remember with the front fender. There's some big bolts under it, and if I bottom the front end, which it shouldn't be bottoming, but because of this giant bolts over here um, they tend to hit the tire which is not cool right. it's a great off-roading uh, bike um, it's not made for jumps because of the balance. And then it also has this uh, safety, I guess. I don't know what the hell to call it. If I hit bumps really, really hard, uh, the bike shuts down. And uh, I asked to see if there is a way I can turn off that safety. Apparently there isn't. So, I don't know. Let's see if we can go up this. Barely made it. Yeah, well, we made it. All right. They closed off the road. And now I gotta uh, do some climbing. <laughs> All right, thoughts. If you're planning on buying one of these because uh, the price is attractive, at least that's why I bought it. Um, you gotta think, what is it you're buying it for? I bought this so I can go off-roading. Um, I'm not crazy, you know, enduro guy. I just like something to take me up the hill, get a little bit of an adventure off-roading. Uh, I don't do any stunts or stunts and crazy moves. Uh, I just ride off-roading, just like off-roading. And this bike delivers for me. Uh, I don't know about the three and a half T. From what I understand, it doesn't, because its uh, its torque is not, you know, strong enough. So, if you're planning on doing what I'm doing, uh, I recommend the the five T. If you're buying it to go jumping and motocross, uh, enduro style. I don't suggest the bike because of the uh, weight, the way the weight stands on the bike, it's way off. So the rear end is pretty heavy. It doesn't ride like your typical dirt bike, enduro, whatever. So uh, let's park this baby here. Look at it while I uh, give my final thoughts. There you go. Do I recommend it? Again, depends who asks. Uh, you gotta ask what you want it for. If you're planning on taking off-roading and jumping um, and doing, you know, uh, enduro stuff, I don't think this bike is made for that. Uh, it's good for the road. Three and a half T probably best for road, uh, passing traffic and all that. Cause it, like I said, top speed on these babies is only 48. Uh, I mean, I've hit 50 downhill <laughs> on a full charged battery, fully charged battery. It's got a USB on the middle somewhere in here. 
Um, I believe it's for connectivity on the wireless network or something. I don't know, via the phone or something. I don't know. I don't use it. Uh, on a full charge, I'm, uh, I'm thinking 50 miles for sure. Easy. Um, once it gets to the two, two bars down and it gets down to the third one, it, it drops pretty quick. Uh, I want to say 15 miles. The third bar goes down. Uh, the last two, they sag. Once you get to the second bar, once you throttle it full throttle, it'll sag the bars down and they'll, they'll, they'll come back, but they just disappear. I think it draws a lot of power. The 5T. Um, I'm not sure how many amps and all that. I haven't done any research. Brakes are pretty good. Uh, the design, I like it. I went because of the looks. I kind of like how the battery it has its own little compartment. It, it stood out for me. And then the frame looks super heavy duty. Uh, I'm 235 pounds, so this thing bullets me when I full throttle it. And on a hard surface, uh, even on the dirt too, uh, if you full throttle it while you're going you know, slower speed, it'll lift up the front wheel on its own. You don't even have to, to try. Uh, unless you're on the loose dirt um, front fender like i said sucks it always loose the back fender i recommend it um it's it saved my brother-in-law so many rocks in the face um, especially if you have like i said you know these aggressive tires the rocks get stuck in here and they catapult through the back so this guy just stops them from shooting basically face height um, change the light on the front because the spotlight, I wouldn't call it light, the spotlight they give you, it sucks, weak, and all points to one spot. <laughs> uh, I added the mirrors, and uh, like I said, the manufacturer is sending me a free replacement for the rear caliper brake line and the brake lever, and then they're kicking me down with the new uh, kickstand. I had a flat tire already. Um, where the stem connects to the inner tube um, the nut was loose so it started leaking from there i didn't know i took it apart i replaced it that was a pain um, that motor is heavy and uh yeah you, i had to, re to remove the cable uh, that's coming right out of the rod and you got to make sure you, you zip tie it. You can see that's how it was originally too. And I copied what they had. So you got to put zip ties to make sure that cable doesn't come off the place. Because if it does, this disc brake, it, it's just going to shred it. And uh, good luck with that one after that. The suspension is pretty good. Uh, I think that's all. I don't have any complaints other than it's not your typical bike. It's doesn't ride like an enduro a dirt bike as i'm used to it's not balanced it's got a lot of weight on the back and that thing when you're doing you know 35 40 miles uh it acts like a gyroscope <laughs> literally it acts like a gyroscope because so much weight on the back so and that's that if you uh if you if you think you're buying a Saren or these or a bomber or something similar you're not familiar with this bike I've had it for some time now, a couple months, a little over two months. I'm very happy with my purchase. Uh, nothing major has broken. I've put it through through its paces. I've abused it somewhat. Uh, it's fallen down several times. Uh, nothing has broke, um, except, like I said, you know, the, the speed controller has some sort of a safety. I'm not familiar with that stuff. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And uh, if I get enough attention on it, I'll make, I'll, I'll make another video on this bike. Thank you for watching again. See you next time.